MediLives is like a medical Uber, a company that seeks to solve some of the biggest inefficiencies in healthcare. So with me to explain a little bit more about how that all works is Dr. Sunny Ahanzi, the CEO of MediLives. Great to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. And also John McKay, the COO. Thank you for inviting so, us. Um, let's start, uh, Doctor. Just tell me a little bit about um, what MediLives does. Well, MediLive is a, a location-based telemedical uh, system that enables people to be able to diagnose themselves in the comfort of their own home without the need for them to go to a doctor in any location. Seven twenty-four three six five. That's what it does. The current system is fraught with time taking inefficiency and not very easy for people to gain access to medical dispensation. Well, and that solves a huge problem, which is rural health care. Yeah. Um, you know, a lot of folks don't have access to a doctor. The doctors are leaving rural areas. Uh, so that <coughs> solves one problem, but it seems like it solves a, quite a few more than that as well. Correct. Yeah. I mean, a recent publication in the UK, that was just about last week, Telegram or Telegram, saying that about 11.3 million people in the last few months of build up to Christmas mm. have to wait for three to five weeks mm. just to see yeah. a doctor for a primary health care. So John, let's bring you in then. Um, so he introduced the concept of blockchain to you and how this might be able to improve the whole healthcare industry. So tell me about how that works exactly. Right, well, f first off, um, when Sonny told me about it, I got terribly excited. Now, I, Sonny and I have worked together on projects for years, very successful projects. And um, I thought, this is mad. Mm -hmm. But then he explained it as user-friendly medicine. Mm -hmm. And that's quite a new concept. So explain how it works then for a patient and a doctor. Is it, is it an app or like how, how would I even get started in this? Okay. Now, the app is free to download. All you simply do at this point in time, you go to your uh, Google App Stores. You said Mendy Lives, you enter Mendy Live Medical. It will straight away come up, and this is how it looks on your Android phone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mendy Live. Okay. Mm -hmm. right? You can already download it, and you can become as a, a doctor. Mm -hmm. You say to you next, or can I either sign in as a patient? As a doctor, doctors will collect information, your name, address, and all the different um, quality assurance will be conducted to make sure they are fit for purpose, mm -hmm. professionally and medically. How, do, how much does it cost for the patient? How do you make money? How does okay. all that work? Okay, very good. Okay, I think this is me, uh, John. <laughs> That's all, you're, you're the yeah. money man. <laughs> <laughs> now, we have designed a financial model to Download the app is free. You can download it right now, wherever you are, mm -hmm. on an Android. Then it'll be available on Apple in the next few weeks. But it's a subscription-based app. Okay. In England, people pay 50 pound. Mm -hmm. In America, they pay about $75. For, for, for month, a whole year. For a year, okay. That, what do you get for that? You will get ECG, okay. you can read your heart, the electricity you can do of that it. through telemedicine? Yeah, the functionality yeah. of that, right? Okay. 24, 725. Okay. If the patient has a major, major medical situation, assuming the first doctor is just a general practitioner, but this is actually anything relating to orthopedics, mm. then that information, the patient simply say, I need an orthopedics on, on the app. Then it will direct them to the orthopedics on the system. Okay connect the two together audiovisually, the doctor can then ask, okay, I've seen your ECG data, I've seen your this, I've seen your that, what is the problem, where is the pain? The doctor and the patient can communicate at that point in time, the doctor can carry out a primary mm. consultation okay. with the patient. A lot of people are very sensitive about their health data. Yeah. How do you know it's secure? Blockchain. Very good. And this is what has actually taken a lot of time. This is why we brought in the blockchain. Mm -hmm. With the blockchain, what is blockchain? Well, blockchain, according to Mark Butnick, he said, it is not a thing, but it is a thing that enables the thing. <laughs> so a blockchain is an enabler. Mm -hmm. Enabler for information transportation, data management, the rest. Okay. So putting the patient data into the blockchain 
enables the patient to have his or her own control of his own or her personal data. Well, it sounds like a great plan and something that's needed because the healthcare system, it sounds like not just in the U.S., but a lot of places, it's yeah. pretty messed yeah. up. So, yeah. okay. Well, thank you so much and best of luck to you, uh, John McKay and also Dr. Alfonsi for coming in today. Thank you very much. Thank you, and uh, thank you as well for joining us. We'll be back.